brand new day begins at the Abbey. I wonder what today has in store for us. This crisis truly is worldwide in scope. Finally figured that out, did you? No word yet from the White House on the cause of the green sky. Many sources are indicating it may be connected in some way to the Hulk. Why don't you blame Mysterio while you're at it? Senior government officials speaking off the record have echoed the same sentiments, saying that if this is the Hulk's doing, they are prepared to take any necessary steps to put an end to the threat. Oh, you mean you want to declare World War Hulk 2? Good luck with that. But in order to know for sure, they need to locate the Hulk, which is an ongoing question in the halls of power today. Where exactly is the Hulk? Check outside. Recent shield activity near the Mount Wondergor site in Transia indicates military action may be necessary. Too late. We took care of it, champ. Uh, Logan? Why are you yelling at the screen? You know that it's... Not... Um... What's going it's on? Green. And I thought the smog in LA was bad. Yeah, I don't think we should be breathing this air. It's gamma radiation. It's fine to breathe, as far as I know. Yes, but it gives the sky quite a beautiful tinge of color, doesn't it? Like the sky before a storm. Anyone want to tell me what I'm looking at? The storm is almost here. And so is the midnight sun. The prophecy is almost complete. Kathan is making his way into our dimension. Not if I have anything to do with it. Let's go inside. We have work to do. I'm not looking to start trouble. Hunter. We should, uh... I should speak with you about what you did to me. Yes? Is that an accusation? Of course not. Uh, I am grateful, of course. It has been so long since I've thought for myself. I was so focused on understanding what was happening with the Hulk. That obsession was how I stumbled onto... to her. And by then it was too late. I always thought myself capable of... Well, does it even matter? I made a choice, and the world paid for it. The Hulk is not to blame for once. All this destruction was the work of... Bruce Banner. Bruce. Lilith's influence is supernatural. You cannot fault yourself for succumbing. No, I will not be absolved of this. I sought her out, not the other way around. Did you know what you were seeking? Well, no. But the result was the same. I can still sense her, you know. Even though you freed me from her influence, she still resides in my head. How? I remove the stain of Lilith's corruption. My irradiation keeps me attuned to her thoughts and feelings. Not all of them, but enough. At this moment, her excitement grows as the prophecy nears its end. Does the link go both ways? Does your presence threaten the Abbey? The Abbey is open to her, Hunter. She can breach it whenever she desires. It cannot be possible. When Wanda chased you and the others through Limbo, she pierced the Abbey's barrier. That was all Lilith needed to enter. If she has huh? known that long, why not attack the Abbey directly? Haven't you figured it out? She doesn't want to win. What are you talking about? Explain your theory. I already told you I can... Pardon the simplified expression. Read her mind. This isn't theory. These are her thoughts. Whatever her plans entail, 
They involve more than just killing a lot of you. Of, uh, of us. <clears throat> Dr. Banner. Please, call me Bruce. Bruce, in all the time I have known you, I realize how little I know about you. Would you mind telling me about yourself? Not at all. My life is an open, irradiated book. Right. So, um... May I ask you about the Hulk? Of course. Are you and the Hulk different people? Or is he an aspect of your personality? I've heard contradictory conjecture from hundreds of experts. You see, I'm psychologically fascinating. Everyone has a pet theory. At this point, I think of the Hulk as a different person. Yet I also take full responsibility for his actions. It's... Well, it's why I betrayed him so deeply by working with Lilith. I'm supposed to be the responsible one. In a way, I'm his keeper. He doesn't really understand what happened, but... I decided on his behalf, like I always do. And very nearly killed his friends. When did you first transform into the Hulk? Years ago, I worked on a device based on Howard Stark's original Gamma Accelerator. There was an accident, and I soaked up so much radiation I should have died on the spot. Instead, it unleashed a green-skinned manifestation of rage from within me. When I came to my senses, I realized what I'd become. I knew I couldn't be around people. To lose control like that? It still terrifies me. Yet, when I become angry or subjected to intense pain, Bruce Banner retreats for the duration. I see. Does the Hulk have any thoughts about Lilith? He finds her... <clears throat> There's some... attraction. What? The Hulk has the hots for my mother? Yes, but he remembers she tried to hurt his friends. That makes him angry. And for the Hulk, anger always wins out. Alright, well, I guess that's good for us, then. I had questions about the Avengers. Go ahead. Well... Will the Avengers forgive you for what you did? Hmm... Usually I wake up to discover what terrible damage the Hulk has caused. The team always understood and supported me in their way. This... It's a very different situation. You ask if they will forgive me? I don't know if they should. But... Is it possible? It's possible. But if so... It won't be soon, nor should it be. Hmm. What led the Hulk to join the Avengers? The way Tony tells it? They spent so much time stopping the Hulk from destroying cities, they offered him a job so they could keep tabs on him. But really, they need Bruce Banner. Yes, the Hulk is good to have around when Ultron attacks or scrolls invade, but my expertise gives the Avengers a crucial edge. And what is that? I plan ahead. Develop contingencies and worst-case scenarios. Solve impossible equations. I'm the only one who thinks it all through. Well... I was. Hmm. What do you think of your fellow Avengers? Before all this? The Hulk and I respect Steve. Strange is... Fine, but he can aggravate the Hulk. Carol and I don't see eye to eye about where the Avengers should focus our efforts. Still, we're friends outside of work. Plus, she knows how to make Hulk laugh. And Thor? Really? I always appreciate his grass charm. The Hulk likes him because he doesn't need to pull his punches when they're play fighting. What about Tony? Play fighting. Ah, Tony. He knows full well the Hulk can reduce him to a fine soul's of mist. Yet he constantly pokes and prods. 
You'd think he was trying to provoke me. But we both respect him for that. He treats us like any other person. He knows what we are, and he's not afraid. Hmm. Well, that's good, I guess. Alright, well, thank you for your time. D uh, Bruce? Thanks, Bruce. Thank you, Hunter. I... It took me far too long to find my place. I'm glad it was, um... I'm glad it was here. Hunter, we need to talk yes. in the forge immediately. What? What's going on now? Something happening with Robbie, too. Let me check in on him, too. Where is... Oh, he's in the shop? What is he doing in the shop? The slumbering giant beneath the darkest of holes. Does slumbering giant refer to Banner, Kathan, Wanda, or D, all of the above? Option E, for other. What? After your third or so apocalypse, you never know what's going to come out of left field at the last second. Either way, hell's coming. Hells are always coming, Blade. There's no just one hell anymore. I gotta go check in on Ant Man MJ. And maybe the rest of the neighborhood. I don't know, Queens? No, Spider Man. The more hell we keep focused on us, the less hell there is everywhere else. We're holding Lilith's attention to keep others out of harm's way. We can't split up now. Okay, everyone just said different things to me, and I'm not sure which one to respond to. How about we change topics to this? I think it's safe to say that maybe we got this is a safe thing to say. That was a long walk with a lot of caveats. Bravo for that, Nugget, Ghost Rider. Pete, how many times I gotta tell you? Do not sit on the hell ride! Alright, sorry about that. Um, okay, what are we doing here? Hunter, is there any way to buckle up for a head-on collision with a demonic horde? I'm not even sure demonic horde is the appropriate term. I well, gotta ask Nico for a refresher on occult terminology. How do mm. you feel about taking down an elder god? I've trained Sparky to go for a demon's sensitive areas. Can't speak for other ghost riders, but this one loves keeping the end times at bay. This, Hunter, is my time to ride against the forces of hell. And are you prepared for the less desirable scenario where we do not make it? Nope. I'm in complete denial. It's gonna go mm. like this. Save the world, go home, give my brother a big hug, throw a barbecue for the neighborhood. I have no idea how Gabe survived without you for so long. <laughs> he says he doesn't even notice I'm gone. I think it is adorable he is keeping a tough exterior, for your sake. I should make life easier for him, so he doesn't have to. You already are, by fighting our trans-dimensional threat. That's a damn good point, Hunter. Nice reframe. And how are you passing the time until our big moment? I tuned the hell ride for the fourth time. I read the last page of all my comics just in case. And, uh, you know, trying to be chill before my head catches fire. Maybe I should do all a right. fifth tune up. The fifth time's the charm. You look cool, calm, and collected, considering the circumstances. Keeping a cool head is kind of my thing, but you know that. I'm telling you, Hunter, I don't know what's coming next, but I do know when the shit hits the fan with Kathan, there's no other place I'd rather be than parked right here with my friends. Carol is lucky to have you in her life. More like I'm lucky to have her. Thing that sucks about love is that it just gives you something to lose. 
That's why we gotta make the most of the good times while we can. Because when the shit gets unreal, we might not have any time left. Hmm. Can't argue with that. Both you and Blade seem rather unfazed about the imminent invasion of this dimension by a homicidal elder god. Oh, this is not the worst Armageddon scenario I've lived through. Just how many have you been through, Carol? You mean the end of this world, or are we talking other planets too? All of the above. Let's put it this way. I lived through a time literally called the Age of Apocalypse. That sounds rather oh. stressful. It was, but there comes a point in every cataclysmic event when you just have to let go and, I don't know, roll with it. All you have to do is be ready to fight for what you care about when the time comes. Right. So what you are saying is not to worry and just be happy while we can? Ding, ding, ding. Sometimes we just gotta fight for our right to party. Especially when someone as lame as Cathan is threatening to end it early. Hmm. I guess what I'm trying to say is, don't worry about what you can't control. You'll face Lilith soon enough. What should I do between now and then? How you spend your possibly last moments on this version of Earth is your choice. I, for one, have always been curious about what's really under the hood of Robbie's ride. And tonight, I'm determined to find out. Hmm. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Wait, who wants to talk? Peter? Peter, what the hell? I tried talking to you. Oh, now you can can be talked to. The best way for me to help Aunt May, MJ, everyone back home is to be here. But being here, I just wish I was back with them. Well, me. but the only way to ensure nobody gets hurt is to throw myself at the big scary Lilith-shaped problem. Hmm. We are defenders. No way! You were in the Defenders too? Dr. What? Dr. Strange recruited me once, but he no. told me it was a secret. We were secret Defenders. Oh, wait, does that mean I shouldn't have told you? I... Oh, pretend I didn't say anything. It is not <sighs> easy, Peter. With or without a mask, people worry about us. And we worry about them. Sounds about right. I just wish I could warn them, you know? Something. Yeah. Don't worry. This will all soon be over and we won't have to worry about it. At least for a while. Good luck, Hunter. Though I'm sure you won't need it. Hello, Storm. It's wonderful to see Bruce back in the Abbey. I hope the others are not wary of him. I do not blame them if they are. We had to fight the Hulk many times. We all know he was under Lilith's command. We gave Wanda the opportunity to regain our trust, and we should extend that same courtesy to Bruce. Yes, of course. What anyone did under Lilith's control is not reflective of who they are as a person. I'm happy to have him here. It's also good for morale. Seeing Iron Man and Doctor Strange with more enthusiasm is a nice change of pace. Do not fault mm. the others if it takes them some time to feel comfortable. Change isn't meant to be seamless or fast. Although I'm curious now. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's nothing serious. But I am wondering if you think everyone who has ever done something bad is capable of changing. Depends on the person, depends on what they've done. I think it depends on who needs redeeming. Would you give, say, your mother a second chance? I do not think I can answer that. 
That's fair. Giving people the opportunity to change can be a liability, and it could backfire. But I think it's always worth the risk. If you'll excuse me, I need to introduce myself to Bruce and apologize for any bruises I left. Alright. Good luck with that. I, uh... Probably wouldn't be... Dipping my toes in those waters, cause... You never know. And it was glowing this way when you walked in here? Yes. It's oh. like something flipped it on. As if it's preparing for the midnight sun. I think that's precisely what it's doing. It knows its owner is coming back to pick it up, and it wants to look good. Yes, that's an excellent way to put it. I know a thing or two about magic artifacts, especially if they're swords. So I have observed. Perhaps when we take a breather, you can explain to me exactly how your portal spell works. It appears to be quite effective. You want to talk shop? You got it. But watch yourself. I might end up becoming the Sorcerer Supreme one of these days. I don't feel threatened. In fact, nothing would make me happier. What's going on down here? <clears throat> Doctor? Our time has almost run out, Hunter. If we're ever going to find out what this god killer can do, Tony and I need to start researching it now. Hmm. I suppose we are out of other options. We are. Unless you have another plane of existence in your back pocket. All right. Then let us find out what this god killer is all about. Excellent. You know what to do at the anvil. Please get us started, Hunter. All right. Let's not waste any more time. Sure, I understand this god killer. All right, let's get started, Doctor Spooky. All right. Luckily, it's only gonna take a day, which is not much. Uh, and then we should be should be good to go. Oh, shield saying the green skies are just a normal atmospheric event. This is not an Avengers level threat. I don't remember being consulted on that decision. Do you, Steve? After this, I am so done with clandestine quasi government organizations. Cover up or not, we have to present a united front and follow Fury's play. Yeah, hard pass. We gotta tell the world the truth, or we lose the trust of anyone with a camera or access to social media. Which, last I checked, is the population of Earth. Woof, I've been there. Nobody cares about the truth. Nobody believes a primordial god is about to wake up and devour the universe. We believe it. Because you've seen it, Rogers. But I remember calling the Avengers hotline with the same story and getting nowhere. Everyone laughed at me. Well, not everyone. I still haven't heard back from Cloak and Dagger. This is no time to quibble over PR statements and cover-ups. Nico's right. We can contradict S.H.I.E.L.D. and tell the truth, but most people aren't going to buy it. Save the damage control spin for after we banish Cathan. If we banish Cathan. Hi, hi, Hunter. Oh, hello. Everyone's busy, it seems. Busy at work. Trying to... Is everywhere right now. Oh. People are dying at their hands. Yet Lilith is about to unleash Cathan. I honestly don't know what to do. Do we let innocent people die while we make a move against Lilith? Or try to save as many people as possible before we confront her? You're asking me for advice? I am. You were close to Lilith. You can help guide me towards the right decision. Help as many people as you can. But don't you think she's using them as a decoy while she completes the prophecy? The opposite, actually. 
Now that the Midnight Sun is here, Lilith is counting on us confronting her right away. But the thing is, she needs us to confront her to make the prophecy come true. So, we have time to save as many people as possible. And that's exactly what we should do. And that's what we will do. Thank you, Wanda. Anytime, Sarah. So, the Midnight Sun has arrived. Despite our best efforts... Mm. ...threatening to end the lives of millions. And Cathan is threatening to consume the whole planet, ending even more. Yes, I know. But as Wanda so compassionately pointed out, there are people in desperate need of help out there. Our help. It's my Grimes. strong opinion we should save as many souls as possible before confronting Lilith. I do not know, Sarah. If the prophecy is about to come to fruition, I am not sure it is wise to waste one moment of time not trying to stop it. Human lives are at risk, and can be saved right now. I'm surprised you, of all people, are so hesitant to run to their aid. Yes, but if we don't stop life, Lilith, then... All of human life. ...we'll be gone. If my mother gets her way, there will be nothing alive in this world that is not named Lilith or Cathan. But we might have time before that happens. Look outside, but we also Sarah. might not. Our time is up. As Wanda so generously pointed out, since you are part of the prophecy, Lilith may not be able to complete it without you. So, mm. we do have time, and we must make the best of it. Hydra is everywhere. Where should I go first? That's up to you, but I do want you to bring Banner. He needs to get back out there, get some wins, before our final showdown with Lilith. You really think the best thing for him right now is to get back out there in the field? He has already been through so much of recent. Are you certain he is ready? He will never be ready if he doesn't get back out there. I will leave the final decision to you, but you know my opinion. Oh, and Hunter? Yes. Happy hunting. Don't oh. just stand there. There are lives out there that need saving. All right, all right. I'm working on it. All right. Time to recover some data. Hydra has a remote server attached to one of their squads in this area, and they've been using it to store communications data captured on the nearby consoles. most of the legwork, but you still need to access those consoles to retrieve the data. Hawk, do it! Alright, Hulk. All yours, pal. Have at it. There we go. Take it. Let us combine our strength.
Plunk. This must happen to you all the time. There we go. Uh. Let's do that too. Every time we get oh. All right, bring it on. Now I owe you one. Oh, good, more goons. Perfect. Just what I was waiting for. Anything for a friend. Good friend. Yeah, let's let's have the Hulk repair the machine. All right, bring it on, suckers! Uh yeah. There we go. Excellent. They have friends. They sure do. Sons are winning too. This hurts you. What? How did that not kill you? Come on. Ridiculous. <clears throat> Don't try again. You recover the data. Excellent work out there. Sounded like uh sounded like another successful mission. So anyone down for a last movie before the end of the world? Oh. Um yes. Let me log into Piotr's Watch Max Plus account. We did this at Xavier's once. Had Ride of the Valkyrie stuck in my head for a week. It was fine till the Sentinels attacked. Then it was cool. Why do all the talking kitten cartoons have five hearts? Oh, Piotr, you big softy. Okay, the movie we're watching tonight is none other than... 
Summer Camp Tango! Me and Maria rehearsed every move in this film. Yeah, my cousins forced me to watch it every summer, so I'm very much into this idea. All right, we're we having movie night tonight. Let's talk, Hunter. This should be fun. Hunter, want to watch a bad '80s movie with us before we face a hungering elder god? Sure. Entertainment on the eve of battle? Yes. Yay for fun! Ileana keeps the limbo fully stocked, so refreshments are a portal away. Just ask. Oh. Quiet, quiet. Here we go. Clint and Natasha always referenced the slobs against the snobs. Never understood what it meant. Until recently, it could have been the Midnight Suns against the Avengers. That makes Tony the snob. And Nico is definitely the slob. Eh, I'll own it. Do not apply logic to a crappy 80s movie. Hey, I didn't say anything about the shape-shifting aliens plan to judge the dance contest. I just want to know how the slobs plan to push that much chili through the sprinkler system. With enough pressure, you can push chili through anything. Don't ask me how I know that. Ugh, of course the head counselor is a Russian spy. Yup, it's an 80s movie. How much did Soviet Russia care about teen hijinks? More than you think. Now that's a dance contest. Okay, I see the appeal. Ah, uh, it's magical. Magic is the one thing this movie didn't have. But you liked it anyway because it is heartwarming pablum. Maybe. You're dragging a bit. Want another can of Stark Drive? I'm uh, still working on my first one. Tony, I guess you aren't drinking any yourself. I'm saving them all for you. Besides, I'm wired enough as it is. I'm a little worried about time. We only have a prototype, and we still have to make one for each of the team members. Well, if we have to stay up all night, that's what we'll do. Better than sitting around watching TV with Wolverine. They say idle hands do Mephisto's work. Hmm, I didn't realize Johnny Blaze's real name was Idle Hands. Hold on, Doc. Did you just make a joke? I still do that from time to time. It's starting to feel like normal around here. End of the world, normal. Same difference, right? Just keep working, Tony. Been one hell of a wild ride, hasn't it, Hunter? It is about to get wild. Sure as. You know, when I graduated MIT summa cum laude, I knew I was destined to found a billion dollar tech empire. But if oh, you yeah? told me I would one day trade in my state of the art Avengers lab for a demon powered forge in a haunted abbey and my Nobel Prize winning staff of scientists for Dr. Spooky and the Jolly Green Giant, I'd have told you I didn't believe in fairy tales. Mm. You have indeed come a long way in overcoming your rabid case of rabdophobia. Oh, you're talking about my resistance to the use of magic. If by resistance you mean an almost debilitating fear of anything mystical, then yes. Oh, come on. It wasn't that bad. Yes, it it's was. It's kind of bad. Okay, okay, maybe I was a little apprehensive about all the hocus-pocusing, but you helped me get more comfortable with it. And I'm fine now. Well, mostly. Babs, the adorable Babylonian demon who lives in the furnace, does tell me to do things sometimes. What things? I'll just keep your door locked at night and you'll be fine. Oh. Gotcha! <laughs> oh. oh. I've been waiting for that a long time. You had me there. You had me there for a second. Do not scare me like that. I scared the 300-year-old demon child of Lilith? 
I can die now. You keep pulling pranks. Oh, I wouldn't like say that, scared. Might. <laughs> the look on your face right now. Priceless. But not as priceless as it will be when you see what we've been burning the midnight oil over. What have you been working on? Top secret. I'd send you an NDA, but I'm pretty sure my executive assistant is Lillen now. Plus, oh. I wouldn't want to ruin the surprise. So, sorry boss, but you'll just have to wait. I do not like waiting. Or surprises. And I used to not like magic all that much, but here we are. Don't worry, you'll get the big reveal in the morning. Oh, which reminds me, I better get back at it. Alright. Good luck with that. Hello. If you ignore the sense of demonic gloom lurking in the flames, it's almost like we're back in the workshop at Avengers Tower. Almost. And you seem quite occupied here. It's good. It's really good, actually. If I can keep myself busy enough, I think I can keep the darkness at bay. Now. Yeah. That's the spirit. You three have been at it for a while. I'm curious to see what comes from all your hard work. I don't want to spoil the surprise, so I'll just say... It's going to be worth the wait. It turns out all I needed was to get my hands on a decent set of mass spectrometers. And to be reunited with those two. I miss them. I don't want them to hear. Their egos are big enough already. I will leave you to finish whatever it is you are working on here. Hmm. Well, if I had to guess, it's going to be either... Some sort of weapon or some sort of suit. The God Killer has been displaying some strange behavior. You mean besides How so? the glowing? Yes, besides the glowing. Um, this concerns you directly, I think. I've noticed whenever you're in its presence, the artifact begins to almost pulsate like it comes alive for you. What do you make of that? I see. Um, well, maybe if the God Killer is responding to me, then maybe I am meant to wield it in battle. Maybe I was always meant to wield it. Perhaps this is another part of the prophecy. If so, then I hope it's the part that means good things for us. Because right. the rest of the prophecy is not exactly promising. Is it still safe for me to pick up? I suspect you're the only one of us who can. I don't think the God Killer wants anyone else touching it. I will just pray that is a good thing. All right. Well, I'll, uh, I can see that you're all busy here, so... I'll just leave you to it then. Um, where's, oh, they're not by the shrine, they're, where are they? By the crater? Oh. I haven't seen you out here in years, Sarah. This particular piece of ground is scarred for me with memories I rather forget. You know that. Then why retread old traumas? You remind me that we can do this. That it can be done. My sister can be slain. This is where it happened the first time, when Hunter... When Hunter gave their life to take hers. And saved the world. Why couldn't she just stay dead? It's time to face her again. Are you ready for that? It seems everyone here is. As ready as they can be, anyway. Yes, but are you ready to lose a sister, and possibly a child, a second time? No one is ever ready for that. But my personal pain and losses are nothing in the scheme of things. 
Well, they are something to me. Do you know where you're standing right now? Yes. It was yeah. the place where I... Vanquished your mother, saved the world, and... made the ultimate sacrifice doing it. So it would seem. The details aren't the issue here. I tried my best to prepare you then. But now I understand how I failed you. I isolated you, trained you to become what I wanted you to be. And I lost you because of it. You did what you thought was right. What you thought I needed to do to survive. But you didn't. You didn't survive. You died alone. All because I made you believe you were no more than a weapon. But you're more than that. More than the hunter. You're the only child I had. Ever will have. Just promise me. I won't lose you again. Alive, dead, slaying a renegade dragoon. I am not going anywhere. I will haunt you for the rest of your years. You will not be able to get rid of me. Oh, Hunter. How I love you. And I you. God. I don't think I've been this emotional in years. Well, I ought to let you get back to your night. There's an abbey full of yes. people who are waiting for you. Best to get to them before it gets too late. Good night, Sarah. Mm. I'll see you in the morning. Agatha and I are going to hang back here for a bit longer. You go ahead inside. That was a nice moment between you two. It was. We love you like our own child, you know. When you... passed, we were inconsolable for decades. We never wanted you to have to make that sacrifice. But you were always the kind of person who would die so the rest of us could live. Made the loss even harder to bear for us. You made so many sacrifices to put Lilith to rest then. I'm just sorry you have to go through it all again. I am not. I fear no death, Agatha. How can I, when I know you will be waiting there for me on the other side? And I will be, if it comes down to that. But I don't think it will. Why would it be any different this time? Because everything is different now. You won't be facing Lilith alone this time. You have friends who will fight by your side. I did not have friends in my last life. I'm glad you got to live again to make them. The friends mm. you made here won't let you die this time. You cannot assure that. No, not for sure. But I like your chances. Just remember how loved you are, and that will get you through. All right. I suppose we'll, it will have to do. Um, for now. <clears throat> Alright, well, I think we've checked in on everyone here, everyone that's available. Um, so yeah, nothing to do now but to go to sleep. told you the truth and just in time he is almost here 
Why did you not tell me, Mother? The decision to sell my soul was mine alone. I never wanted to make you feel responsible for the sacrifice I made. But you did it to save me. A mother would do anything to protect her children. I am no different. I love you, child. I'd do anything for you. All I ask is for you to make it all worth it and stand by my side. I'm afraid that's not an option. You know that is impossible. Please, child. There is so much I want to show you. Do me no favors, mother. Why won't you accept how much I love you? Because you're corrupted. You're not even you. If you truly love me, end this madness before it breaks the world. Child, the world is already broken. Not yet. You cannot stop us, Mother. I will face you. You always have. <laughs> 